Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for August. I've already done one for August, and I'll tag it to the end if you want to watch that one. But anyway, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and uh it's for any time in August. May or may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Got two cards that have already fallen out. We're going to see if we can get another one. What do we have for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, there it is. There it is. So, what do we have for Sagittarius? Mm, financial pinch. So you may be in some sort of financial pinch this month. Ooh, but things are probably going to get better. Carrot, opportunity or windfall. I, psychic ability. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Your psychic ability may be increasing a lot this month. You're probably going to be receiving some messages. Pay attention to those messages. Strong psychic ability this month. Um, yeah, so that looks pretty good. Maybe in a financial pinch, but it's not going to last. Okay, it's not going to last. Let me just fix that. I guess we'll take that one, huh? Ooh. Independently owned and operated. Some of you may have an opportunity to go your own way, start your own business. You may be, be, be you may already be in this position. You definitely have an opportunity to do so. This could be job related. It could also be relationship related. Uh, your gut is telling you what to do. You have a strong psychic ability right now. Listen to it. You have you are very capable of independent success put it that way um, you may be choosing to be independently owned and operated this month focusing on yourself focusing on your business focusing on your money I feel like some of you may even have a psychic gift that you can provide to others so that may be something that you need to take part in Mm. We also have an older man here. We have an older man here. You could be, some of you could be dealing with an older man that is independently owned and operated. Um, this is a successful man. <laughs> it just doesn't get any better than this. Wish granted. So we have a wish being granted here for you. You know, when you blow on a dandelion once it's passed, you know, you usually make a wish. Maybe you made this wish when you were younger or at a, a previous time in your life. A wish is definitely about to be granted for you. Let's get one of these. What do we have for Sagittarius? Ooh, the world. The world is a major completion of a cycle, the end of a phase. Uh, something that was very prominent in your life is coming to an end. Could be a job, could be a relationship, something that really taught you a lesson. It was big. It was a big part of your life. Major completion of that. So this is something coming full circle, stepping into a new existence. That One season is over, a new season is beginning. Uh, may have to do with a lover, may have to do with an unexpected choice in love, may have to do with a connection, a partnership, um, a union. Uh, some of you are going to be starting a new cycle. Um, maybe if you've been independently owned and operated, you know, you may be getting yourself into a partnership. It could be very unexpected because typically this is unexpected. This is strong uh, sexual energy as well so you may be deepening a bond with somebody on a very sensual sexual level so uh, there could be an increased um, 
amount of intimacy this month, okay? What do we have for Sagittarius? One card for Sagittarius. New beginning, big one, because one one phase of your life is over. So there's that's that's sec successful completion of you know a lesson. You've learned some sort of lesson through some sort of project or phase of your life. Now you have the skills to move on to the next phase, um, and a sincere wish is being granted. sacred wisdom so this is this is an owl is the highest intuitive wisdom so you have gained some sort of wisdom through whatever this experience is um, really pay attention to the lunar, lunar phases because they're going to be affecting you as well I'm going to go ahead and read that card for you but the, there's there's a strong intuitive wisdom that you have gained through some sort of life experience Think carefully. Consider all options in your life transitions. So you're going through a life transition right now, definitely with the world card. Uh, in some cultures, an owl uh, symbolizes death, but death is change, okay? It's major life change. So you are going through a major transition in your life right now. You are about to embark on a, on a new journey. Um, it's a new era. It's a new you. It's a new life. It's a new beginning. Okay, what, whatever you're leaving behind taught you something big, and you should, and it made you evolve spiritually. It brought you a lot of intuitive wisdom or inner wisdom that is going to uh, make life a little bit easier. I believe in the next phase. Anyway, owls are deep and intense message bringers, encouraging you to connect to your inner visionary. The white owl shares a wisdom with those who respect traditional processes. Protectors and knowledge keepers, these sage spirit animals, offer you guidance and safeguard your spiritual work. Intuitive information and messages alike will always arrive with divine delivery and no sooner. Don't push. Acknowledging change. The wise owl asks you to think carefully about how you approach life transitions. Look beyond what is physically in front of you. More about your gifts and natural talents will be revealed to you when you remove the expectation of receiving certain results. Right now, honor your inner god or goddess. Return to natural cycles in all that you are. Delve deep into your being to access or assess powerful base energies that resonate with your heart and instincts honor your divine feminine and divine masculine that reside within your spirit keep your focus and direction on the present day or time will slip away into the abyss ideas will soon pass on to others if you continue to ignore spirits messages so spirit is trying to send you messages it's pretty darn clear but you, some of you have been ignoring them. You've been ignoring the intuitive nudges that you're receiving. Lunar phases will affect you now. Be mindful in your methods with others and listen to your inner voice. Past life influences will arise now. Deep attractions or a sense of knowing or kinship will make themselves known in abrupt ways. And that is exactly what's going to happen. There is going to be an unexpected choice in love, an unexpected, or maybe it's already happened recently, recently, um, where you have developed a strong sense of connection with somebody unexpectedly. If you haven't, it's probably going to happen. Um, listen to these messages. They bring you karmic lessons that will strengthen your soul. Hmm. You, you're going to have unexpected opportunity here to partner up with somebody that you don't expect. This may be a wish being granted in an unexpected way. Okay, that's the way I see it. So what do we have? Deepening a bond with somebody, I believe.
Six of Pentacles reverse. That's in the past. I don't know if you've lost money or you've lost a job or you've lost some revenue you, or somebody rejected you or you were in a one-sided situation where you didn't get what you deserved. There's probably been some unfair treatment. Maybe you were dealing with a con man or a fraud that, you know, said they were going to give you something and they didn't. Eight of Pentacles, things are going to change. Uh, that's putting in effort, creating, creating something successful. Two of Swords in reverse in the future, which is coming clean, coming out of denial, something being exposed. Somebody's been blocking their emotions. They've been blocking the truth. They've been in denial of the truth. The truth is going to be revealed. Somebody's going to start putting in effort, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Um, King of Pentacles reverse in the past. Emperor reversed in the middle. Star reversed. Five of Wands reversed. Four of Cups. We got two. Princess of Cups and the Temperance reversed. And overall energy is the Seven of Cups reversed, which is making a clear choice, seeing what the best option is, coming out of confusion. I feel like you've been dealing with a very masculine energy, and if you're the masculine, it could be you. Somebody has been indecisive. They've been unsure of what they wanted. They may have been not really focused on a relationship, so they weren't giving you what you needed. Maybe it was, and this doesn't have to be a love relationship, but it certainly could be with a lover's card. I feel like you haven't been getting what you deserve. You haven't been getting the justice that you deserve. There's been an injustice. First card out, Six of Pentacles reversed. You may have been, even been dealing with a, a con man in the past or something like that. Or there's some sort of rejection here. I'm not sure if somebody has rejected you for some reason. Uh, maybe because they were unstable. There's some sort of instability here. Not putting in much effort into giving. Somebody hasn't been giving. They haven't been very giving at all. This is somebody that is very selfish, self-centered, focused on money. More focused on, on financial stability than a relationship. They've been struggling with the Five of Wands reverse. Somebody's really been struggling with a lot of competition perhaps. Maybe there was a lot of competition or there was just a lot of power struggles. Um, you may have been dealing with a player in the past or somebody that wasn't ready to stop playing games. We have somebody here that has, and this could go vice versa, so this could be for the cross watcher. We have somebody here that's been, definitely been a player. They've been in player energy, right? They've been chosen to play games or they were still dealing with some competition. You know, they weren't ready to settle down. They weren't ready to commit. That's what it looks like to me. Um, King of Pentacles reversed is somebody that may do things illegal, legal, not very practical, you know, not very grounded, all over the place, may also not know their value. You may have somebody here that hasn't been giving, because I'm looking at another lineup going across, they may have doubts, they may have, they have, they may be held back by fear, they have fear that they won't be accepted, you know, they have fear that they're not good enough, this is somebody that may even, um, have daddy issues, you know, they had, they didn't have a father when they grew up, or they they were abused when by a father or neglected by a father that makes them feel like they're not good enough. We definitely have somebody here that feels like they're not good enough. Um, maybe that's why they haven't put in very much effort. This is like ignoring an opportunity for love because I'm not good enough. So I don't know if that's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Um, I do believe that somebody is going to be unblocking their emotions. They're going to be opening up. Um, I do feel like there's a wish that is going to be granted. You may not, I don't feel like it's exactly how you pictured it because the star card is reversed. That's a wish being granted. You're probably going to doubt it when it comes your way or the person that you're dealing with may doubt the connection. Somebody is going to doubt the connection. It's like one person feels that the other person doesn't or they're, they're questioning it. Why now? Why is this happening? Why are you, why are you, why are you doing this? You know, it's, it's going to be why, why, why? Maybe it's just the bad, bad timing, you know, or it was bad timing. I feel like I feel like right now you may be in a place where you're kind of like just focusing on your work. You're
you're focusing on your job, you're focusing on yourself, you're focusing on your money. You may be feeling very independently owned and operated and then all of a sudden, I feel like it comes out of nowhere, honestly. All of a sudden, you, you got somebody here that's crushing on you, they're flirting with you, you know, they want to they want to get together with you, that kind of thing. So I, I do believe that you're going to you're going to be thrown off guard, you're going to be thrown off kilter. And you may you may be reluctant to cooperate with this person. So just I don't know where that's coming from, but I feel like there is somebody or this person is reluctant to cooperate with you. Maybe it's such a strong connection that comes out of and nowhere that causes fear, you know. Um, but seeing really clearly what the best choice is, if there's been some sort of confusion, clarity is going to come. Somebody's going to receive some clarity. They've been exploring other options. Somebody has been exploring other options and they've been in denial about what their heart wants. And I feel like there's extreme frustrations. There's going overboard. It's, it's, there's a, a wanting more. I want more. Searching for more. Looking for more. Somebody is looking for more. They're looking for love. They're, they, they're, they're it probably in maybe married. We may have somebody here that is in a commitment that they're married to, you know, with a husband that is angry and upset and uh, doesn't give, doesn't doesn't give uh, anything. This is some. They're just in it for financial stability. There's no love here, and there's another opportunity for love right here, right here. And there's a choice that needs to be made with the two of swords in reverse and the lovers card. So I feel like we have somebody here that is feeling very uneasy and they're re-examining their current circumstances because they're not getting what they need. They're not getting the reciprocation. They're not getting the uh, outcome that they had hoped for. This, and it's very clear. I feel like there's also some sort of... Um, needing to make a better choice. I feel like you need to make a better choice. You need to choose wisely. Be careful with your choices with this seven of cups. Make sure that you're you're not looking at things with rose colored glasses. Make sure that you're not in denial. You know, we may have somebody here that is in a victim mentality that's you know that is staying in a situation just for financial reasons. I don't have the money. I don't have the, I can't get out of it. I can't get out of it. You can get out. There's help available. I had three little kids I had a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and a six-year, a six-month-old, and I and I my boyfriend cheated on me, and I had to I had to go get help. Okay, I was only 23 years old. I had to go get help. There's help available. That's an excuse. So I don't know who needs to hear that, but there's somebody here that is in a situation with somebody that I can't get out because of financial reasons. That's an excuse. That that's your fear holding you back. And there is fear holding somebody back with the Two of Swords. You know, you need to wake up. You need to step up. You need to you need to take that blindfold off, and you need to uh, let go of your fear and ask for help. The the star card in the upright is about help arriving, but we got somebody here that's not willing to accept help. And I see that with the six of pentacles reversed as well. If you if you want to get out of a situation, you're going to have to put in effort to get out of a situation. That may mean that you have to ask for help to get out of it. And somebody needs to hear that message because that's what just came out of my mouth. Anyhow, we have somebody here that is dealing with a lot of strife right now in their life with the Five of Wands. This is like a battleground. It's like a war zone. It's like, and I want more. I want more. I'm, I'm hoping and wishing for more. Your, your wish is not going to be granted until you put in effort to break free. Okay, so that, I don't know who needs to hear that, but I, I'm pretty sure somebody does. So there is an opportunity for love here in the future, but there's a need to except because we have the page of cups right as the last card and then right well the second to last card the last card is temperance reverse which happens to be your card that is very frustrated that's things not not cooperating not willing to compromise not willing to let go to receive something more so i feel like right now there's excess you know like extreme upheaval perhaps or an extreme um imbalance maybe within yourself because you, self-love is a big deal okay you can look at page the page of cups as self-love i also believe that you are receiving an opportunity you're receiving an opportunity to uh remove yourself from a situation but you're gonna but you're gonna have to make the choice to do so 
temperance reverse re-examine your re-examine your choices the seven of cups reverse is right above it you have to re-examine you have to re-examine your choices uh, there's a chapter of your life that is coming to an end because you have a bigger wish. You have a bigger wish. You have a bigger desire. And the only way you're going to get that wish is, is make some of you, if you're in a commitment, you may have to become independently owned and operated. Um, I do feel like um, things are a little bit all over the place with that last card being temperance reversed. You may be feeling uneasy because this is a big huge choice for some of you you are independently and owned and operated and you have another connection you have another opportunity for love and you have to choose do you want to get into that do you want to get into that commitment do you want to get into that partnership um, listen to your gut your gut has the answers I do feel like there is somebody here that is uh, dealing with an older man and this older man could be a father figure or a husband or a boss this older man is like narcissistic okay this person is a narcissist there this is a tyrant who uh is making you doubt yourself they're causing you to doubt yourself they're holding your they're, they're making you feel like you're not good enough you need to you need to uh, block this person. You need to have faith in yourself. You need to love yourself. You need to remove yourself from this strife. Okay, you do. There's strife here. I feel like you're going to get in an argument with this person or you already have been in quite a few arguments with this person and it's just like, you know what, I don't I don't really want to be here. I don't want to be in this situation anymore. If you don't want to be in this situation anymore and, and you have a bigger wish, you have to ask for help. And you'll receive it because of that opportunity or windfall. If you ask for help, there is somebody here that's going to give it to you. There is. This, it, it, there is. But you have to be willing to accept change. Temperance reverse. I'm not willing to accept. You have to be willing. You have to be willing. So I don't know whose message that is. But you have an unexpected choice for in love that can make, bring you happiness. You're going to receive an opportunity for love. Okay. Or a welcome message. There's somebody here that um, is going to help you if you will let them help you. Or if you ask them for help. I feel like you're 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 you are going to be deepening a bond with somebody if you allow it, but you're going to have to be willing to make some sort of change to have that connection. Good luck.